Hi, my name is Maggie Smith, and I am applying to be an ambassador at Snow College. One of the main things that you should probably know about me is that I love to stay busy. And so because of that, I am involved in a lot of clubs at my high school, including uh, I'm a Spanish club officer. I am involved in DECA. I am in peer leadership team. So I'm the president of the National Campaign Committee of Peer Leadership Team. And we serve people all the time. And that's one of my favorite things to do because I love to include people. And um, part of that, because of that, um, I made the international club at my high school so I could include the foreign exchange students that come in and are really scared and don't really know anybody and everything like that. So I'm the president of the international club. I'm also in the Random Acts of Kindness Club. I'm a Thrive presenter for my high school and I am the submissions officer of literary magazine staff because I love to write. I also um, have a job at Boondocks and I play three musical instruments, ukulele, clarinet, and piano. I want to become a Snow College ambassador because I want to help other people feel like they have a place at Snow. And I want them to be able to be as excited about Snow as I am. And also, I feel like just being an ambassador would give me such a great opportunity to grow myself and my abilities. And I feel like all the abilities that I do have right now, such as uh, leadership qualities and um, my service experience, would be great, like a great fit for being an ambassador at Snow College. One of the things that makes me unique as a leader is my ability to combine honesty with acceptance. And so basically what I'm trying to say is that um, in past times and everything, there are some leaders that are overly honest and it just hurts people's feelings. And then there are some leaders that are too accepting of other people and they're not willing to tell them um, when they're doing something wrong and offer constructive criticism. So I am very good at being honest with people, but in a way that is very kind and uplifting. And because of that quality, I am able to have success in so many um, clubs at school and everything like that. Like in international club, I have to be able to lead uh, the presidency and everything. And that quality just gives me success. A time that I was proud of myself in my life was when I finished my first half marathon. And, you know, when I first found out that I was going to be running a half marathon, I was kind of surprised because my aunt, she dropped out of it last minute and she was like, hey, I have a spot open for you and I'd really like you to run this. And so um, I found out about the half marathon in August. So I actually only had one month to train for this. And so I worked hard every single day so that way I would be able to run the half marathon without any problems. And when I crossed the finish line, I just felt so amazing because um, I was able to work so hard for something and that work all paid off in me um, actually finishing in the top 10 of my age group when running this half marathon. As I mentioned before, um, I said that I work at Boondocks right now. And so at Boondocks, at the beginning of me working there, I had a really hard time just putting myself out there and uh, being very outgoing to customers and everything like that. I was kind of shy and it was just a new environment and everything. So uh, my manager actually noticed that I was being kind of shy and not smiling as much as I should have and whatever. And so he told me this, um, he pulled me into his office actually, and it hadn't really seemed like a problem to me at first, but I took his constructive criticism to heart. And I decided that I was going to go into work every single day and try to be the best person that I could be. And because of that, I got the, what is it? The service award for improving so much and being one of the best servers in the restaurant. Hi guys, my name is Maggie and I'm your Snow College Ambassador. Howdy. Hi. I haven't been sleeping 27 hours, 38 minutes, and two seconds.
How do we get started then? One of the main things that I love about Snow is how small the campus here is. And so that means that it's easier for you to find your classes and just overall it's less overwhelming for you because you don't have to know where everything is. You're telling me that there's not a lot of people? Well, yeah. Snow College has one of the smallest campuses in the state of Utah. And our class sizes are pretty small and average to about 16 people per class. As long as it's small, I'm in. I'm glad that you really want to go to Snow now, Ryan. That makes you really happy. Another thing about Snow College is that is so amazing is all the opportunities that you have to be involved. And currently there are about 50 clubs at Snow College. I absolutely love the Multicultural Club. And we even have a Magic the Gathering Club and a Young Farm and Ranchers Club. Wait a sec, did I hear someone say farm? Why yes you did, Jonathan saying that I can join a rancher club, and are there cows? Yes, you can join the Young Farm and Ranchers Club. Our college even offers a farm and ranch management class, which offers monthly visits to our local farms and ranches. Wait, and what about the cows? Well, I'm sure that there will be plenty of cows that will make you happy. I'm in. All right, moving on. One of the other things that I love about Snow College is that we have not only the youngest campus in Utah, but we have so many scholarship opportunities that are stackable, and our school is the most affordable college in the state. Miss Ambassador, I got a scholarship that gave me half tuition and then another different scholarship for being left-handed. Uh, I could stack those, right? You can. And there are even activity scholarships that are offered to students. And one of the best parts about going to Snow College is when you transfer from that college to a different college, um, those colleges don't take into account your high school GPA or your ACT score. They just take into account your college GPA. Dang, I'm in two, I guess. Well, it was really nice to meet all you guys and everything, and I really hope to see you guys at Snow soon. I can't wait to get my associates in 